Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee is located is the location for stop number 18 on the NCRA Pizza Hut Truck Series. If you want 75 laps of short track minutes, you've got it tonight. So here's the starting lineup for today's running event. On the pole, it's Keith Batson at number 88. Alongside of him, Joshua Osborne in number 10 is alongside a Ford and a Chevy on the front row. Here and both of them have in truck cameras in today's race as well, too. Second row has our third in truck camera. It's carried by Seth Cole at number 9, the Liberty University do uh, Toyota. He's alongside number 99, Carson Gum. Next row down has number 2, Dylan Young, and number 21, Cole Deaver. Next row down, Johnny Gardner, number 29, and number 98, Kat Batson. Next row down has number has number 52, Matt McIntyre, and number 16, Nathan Hudson. <clears throat> Next row down is number 33. That's Jacob Thibodeau. He's alongside Kyle Matthews in number 44. Next row down has 68, Zachary Fitzwater. He'll be alongside number 6. It is Quentin Moore. <coughs> Excuse me. Next row down has number 18. It is Matt Haas. He'll be alongside... Can't let me get out of the truck here. Whoops. Okay, that was a bit of a screw up right here. Okay, next right down is number 18, Matt Haas. He'll be alongside number 51, Laura. That's number 54, Kev Shear is alongside. Next right down has number 19, Rob Evans in a Nap Auto Parts Toyota. He's alongside Paul Minnick. Next right down has number 74, James Sykes in number 4, William Brock. Then it's Vale Moscow in 13 and 87, Daniel Bouchard. Next row down is Laura Chung in 51, and number 75, Jesse Turner, who won the, the season at Daytona. Next row down is Nathan Orman in number 24, and number 3, Phil Parker. Next row down is Ashlyn Boyd in 7, and, th and 23, Stephen Cologne. Next row down is Mitchell Collins in the 11, and the 15 of Brad Stover. Next row down is number 45, Diego Yepes, and uh, Roberto Crown Jr. in the 8. Next row down has number 17, that is Pedro Lucas, and number 38, Scott Upton. And starting shotgun in the field will be number 40, John Andrews, at the wheel of his Chevrolet. So that's your starting lineup here as the field of 35 trucks sit on pit road, ready for the word to fire the engines. Again, our in-truck cameras will be carried by Keith Batson, Joshua Osborne, and Seth Koa, Ford, a Chevy, and a, Do and a Toyota. I kind of wish there were Dodges in the, still in the truck series <coughs> uh, in this day and age. Here comes the command to fire him up here at Bristol. Three, two, one, jump. start your engine. Command's been given the fire, the fire him up here today at Bristol Motor Speedway. Here as the, as the pace truck leads him off pit row, we'll be back for the start of the race right after this. Keith Batson and Joshua Osborne leading the field up in the turns number three and four. <clears throat> As we are going to get set for a start of the race here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Laps here do not take very long, about 15 seconds a lap. And it's, we're, that's why this race is 75 laps long as the green flag flies. And we are underway here at Bristol. Nighttime truck racing on the short track. And that's what we're going to have for the next... Three races for the next three races, counting this one here, is we'll be at Richmond next afterwards, and then after that, we'll be on the four tenths mile racetrack at South Boston Speedway as Keith Batson leads the first lap of this race here. Second is Seth Cole, third is Dylan Young, Joshua Osborne dropping the fourth, maybe fifth now as Johnny Gardner goes by in the number 29 truck. On board with Joshua Osborne at number 10, the Jennifer Joe Cobb special as they go to turn number three, or turn number one, excuse me. That's another thing about Bristol here. This track is very, so confusing. You don't know which track, part of the track you're on from one left to the next. And the yellow flag flies for the first time here today at Bristol as we watched for, as we watched from Joshua Osborne's perspective. <coughs> and it's Kev Shear, Ashlyn Boyd, and Laura Chung that has spun in the third and fourth quarters. And whoa, Keith Batson got darn close to... Nailing chunk truck. Oh, they better get back to the, oh, the pace truck. Better catch up to the start finish line. The, those trucks better stop. Oh, gosh. Seth Cole is going to. Oh, gosh. He is. He. 
Heath, Young, and Gardner all beat him, beat the pace truck back to the start finish line under yellow. Well, I don't know what that's going to do right there. And so did Keith Batson, the leader. Well, while we get, while we, well, while we let the officials to handle that situation here, uh, we're going to see what happened to cause the yellow flag to fly. Oh, gosh. That ended up being a mess here. Come off turn number two. Two's usually a trouble spot at Bristol. Failed Moscow got right into to Nathan Hudson, bounced him right off, bounced him right off that truck and into Laura Chung in the 51. This was mid-pack. Moscow got well right into Chung. Oh my gosh. And Quentin Moore and Kevshire both flipped. Well, Kevshire flipped. Um... Quentin Moore got up on the got up on the road, wall road on two wheels, but he but he managed to stay on all fours. But Kev Shearer up and over flips the truck over. There's where Moscow, um, Boyd and Chung got into it right there, and several other trucks I think got into it as well too. But uh, we'll see who's out of the race and who's not. But I think Kev Shearer probably maybe possibly be out of the race. Uh, and foul luck for Kev so far this season here in the number 54 Anthony Alfredo truck. <clears throat> and that's how it's going to be right there. Kev is out of the race here. So, um, we'll see it. Well, no penalties given to the number, to the, the four trucks that beat the pace truck out back to the start finish line under caution. Now, I don't know. Usually, they're actually you, you think there'll be a rule that should be enforced because of that. But anyway, green flag back out on lap number nine. It's Keith Batson, Seth Cole, Dylan Young, Johnny Gardner, and the 52 of Matt McIntyre as they come off to number four. Dylan Young's going to take the lead again. The 51 of Laura Chung not on the lead lap in the Dex Imaging. Toyota and oh, off to number two right there. Gardner and Batson. Here comes Gardner. He gets by Batson's truck. And Seth Cole caught up on the high side as well, too. Osborne trying to get by in the number 10 truck. He does so. And here comes Carson Gummy. Gets by. So does Cole Deaver in 21. And oh, three wide right there as Rob Evans tries to get by Nathan Hudson. And the 74 of James Sykes. And problems off turn number two here as we're under caution for a second time. And I'm thinking it may be Brock and uh, Boyd and um, <coughs> Stephen Cologne possibly. This happening on lap number 12 here, and as, as we come off the second turn, yeah, Quentin Moore got off the wall, right into William Brock, sent him spinning right there. I don't see how that caused the caution, because, because Brock saved it. I don't see how that could have caused the yellow flag to fly right there. Saw Bell Moscow kind of uh, flying by all the trucks. And Dylan Young, the leader, is in the, in, the, is in the pits. Oh my gosh, Dylan Young, the leader, is on pit road. And I don't know who that's going to give the lead to. It's going to give the lead. Looks like to Johnny Gardner. Yes, it is. Oh my, a tough break for Dylan Young. Who was late in the race and it was a piston failure on Dylan Young's truck, the number two machine. And it's knocked him right out of the lead and on the pit road and in the garage area. So Johnny Gardner leads the field down. Dylan Young and Kev Shear, the only two trucks out of the race here. Laura Chung trying to get her black back. 
as Gardner Hells the lead, but here comes Joshua Osborne at number 10, and he'll take the lead away from Gardner by about a half a truck length, and that's going to give Osborne the advantage of putting Chung again a lap down. Can't say Laura Chung's not, you can't say Laura Chung hasn't uh, been trying to get her lap back, you can't say that she hasn't, had, hasn't, been, hasn't been had a lap, you can't say it's been a lack, for a lack of trying. That's what I was trying to say here. <clears throat> but uh, nonetheless, though, she's a lap down right now here as she's falling back a little bit through the field here. As you ride with Keith Batson in truck number 88, he runs in second place behind Joshua Osborne. And the yellow flag's going to fly for the third time here today at Bristol. And this time it's Paul Minnick in the double zero Haas Automotive Chevrolet. So third caution of the day happening on lap number 21 here at Bristol Motor Speedway about a couple laps after the restart. And it's this time it's, and again, Vail Moscow and Ashland Boyd right in the middle of everything. This time... This time, Minix just stubs uh, Vale Moscow into the wall. And then Minix came out the big loser in that deal right there as they come off turn over, as they come up the second turn, as, and since his number zero truck spinning, smacks, or er, er, hits the brakes to keep from hitting anything else. So no harm, no foul for Paul Minix, but it uh, brings out caution number three on the, 20, on the 21st lap. We'll be back for the restart right after this. So Paul Minnick, we thought was no problem, uh, was all ready to go here. Well, the suspension failure has happened on the double zero machine too. So he's the third truck out of the race as well now too. Racing the field right here, Joshua Osborne's your leader. Second is Keith Batson. Third is Johnny Gardner. Fourth is Matt McIntyre. Fifth is Seth Cole. Carson Gummins sixth and Rob Evans. Uh, Kat Batson, Matt Haas, and Nathan Hudson, the top 10 green fly back out. We're back underway. Lap number 27. And Osborne, who led the last, who led on the race start, well, he's been passed by Johnny Gardner and the 52 truck of Matt McIntyre. So Matt now goes to second place. Gardner goes to the lead. And Chung again cannot hold off the leaders, unfortunately for her. They go through turns number one and two right here. Osborne being, being hung back big time, same as Batson and Seth Cole. <clears throat> so now we got a totally new look in the top three. It's Gardner, the leader. Second in position is Matt McIntyre. And third being Carson Gum. Fourth is Rob Evans. Fifth right now is Kat Batson. Battle for six between Nathan Hudson and Matt Haas. Haas gets by that bunch, or I should say Hudson gets by that bunch right there. In a 16 machine now, Joshua Osborne trying to pick, trying to fight back to where he was running here. He's got the help from Kyle Matthews in the 44 truck. He's going to bring Kyle with him a little bit. On board, Joshua Osborne truck. He's up to the seventh position. Behind him is Matthews in eighth. Working the 32nd lap of this race here now. And back now, that's completed here. 32 down and 43 to go here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Up ahead of him is Nathan Hudson and Rob Evans. They are running 6th and 5th respectively right now. 4th is Kat Madsen. 3rd is Matt McIntyre. 2nd is Carson Gunn. And Johnny Gardner is your leader of this race here today as they go through turns 1 and 2 once again. Osborne now trying to get by Rob Evans. <clears throat> Doesn't do it that lap, but we get into turn number one. Oh, Evans chopped off Osborne big time going through one and going through turn number one. And now Cole Deaver is going to try to get by Kyle Matthews through turns three and four, and Deaver will do so with ease. And it moves Cole up to ninth position right now. Well, actually, excuse me, make that eighth. Matthews drops to ninth, and tenth right now is Jacob Thibodeau in a 33. Here comes Matthews once again in turn number three. 
And he'll get called back on through th third and fourth turns now. And so those two continue to trade positions here. <clears throat> we have still got, we now got the, we now got the front two spots here, or front three spots trying to pull away here. As Matt McIntyre now tries to get by Carson Gum, it's for second place here, chasing Johnny Gardner, who leads here at Bristol after 38 laps were in the, book, in the books, and 37 are now left to go. So we're halfway home. <clears throat> In this 18 races of the season here, as we mentioned, the first of three straight on a short track, and all three of them at night time. We'll be also heading to Martinsville, also at night time this season. And between in between South Boston and Martinsville will be the race at Talladega Super Speedway as Carson Gum takes the lead now. Gardner back, back to third position as now Matt McIntyre's now moving to second place now. Cat Batson's in fourth position. Nathan Hudson running fifth. Joshua Osborne's now gotten by uh, Rob Evans for sixth place. Check the field for you right here. Daniel Bouchard's up to 13th position right now. Seth Cole's in 14th. 15th is Scott Upton. Zachary Fitzwater runs 16th position right now. 17th is James Sykes. 18th is Phil Parker. John Andrews, who started this race 35th, is now up to 19th right now in the number 40 truck. A battle for 20th is between Nathan, is between uh, William Brock in the 40s and 21st right now. 20th, well, was 20th, is now Roberto Crown Jr. Uh, Stephen Colon is now caught, is now, is now up in that battle as well, too. Laura Chung again in the 51 is 32nd. She is a lap down. Uh, Diego Yepes is up there, Vale Mosco, Ashlyn Boyd, Brad Stover in the 15 truck is in the 26th position. Now Quentin Moore and Pedro Lucas <coughs> trying to hold off Jesse Turner in the 75 truck here. And now Pedro gets by Quentin. And whoa, and Boyd just about got into it, got into it with Mosco. Boyd and Mo I tell you, Ashlyn Boyd and Vale Mosco, they have gotten into each other all race long so far. And here they almost crashed again. Take a look as to what happened between the 13 and the 7 trucks here. This happened come off turn number 2. And almost put the 7 of um, Ashlyn Boyd right into the, the 15 truck of Brad Stover. So after that little... A uh, shindig that happened at Bristol as uh, so we are uh, back to the back to the, full, the field rundown here. Nathan Ormond trying to work his way up to the field. He's gotten by Quentin Moore and Mitchell Collins right now is the last truck running on the lead lap. He is in 31st, I think he is. Yeah, he's 31st position. Laura Chung is the only truck a lap down in 32nd. <coughs> so. So as of right now, it is still Carson Gum leading. Second place right now is Matt McIntyre. Third is Johnny Gardner. Fourth is Nathan Hudson. And Cat Madsen runs in fifth position right now. Cole Beavers dropped back to seventh place now as Joshua Osborne has gotten past him. Eighth is Rob Evans. Ninth is Keith Batson. And Matt Haas runs in tenth position. As they run right now as they go through turns three and four again. Carson Gunn has not yet won this season, but there Matt McIntyre, he took the victory at California earlier this season, and he's looking for his second win of the season. Carson looking for his first, and Gardner's looking for his first as well, too. Nathan Hudson has won this season as well, too. And so has Cat Batson, so has Osborne. So, um, so I think in two of the top six drivers have not yet won this season. And that would be Carson Gunn, and Carson Gunn and Johnny Gardner. And meantime, Kat Batson trying to begin the roll in that number 98 truck. She's up to fourth position now. She's gotten by Hudson. And she's going to try to bring Joshua Osborne with her. But Hudson squeezes in between those two trucks. This is 
fourth, fifth, and sixth you're seeing on the screen, and Cole D were trying to join in on the on the fun. Fifty-six laps in the books and nineteen laps to go here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Right now, there's your front two trucks here: Carson Gum versus Matt McIntyre. So we continue to focus on this battle. Gum up the high side, McIntyre down low, and not quite. 15 hundredths of a second the last time by. was in front of two trucks. Ford in first, Toyota in second, then Ford in third, Ford's in third and fourth, and then you got a Toyota in fifth with Nathan Hudson. Joshua Osborne, the leading Chevrolet in sixth position right now. They've gotten by Mitchell Collins in the 11, but here comes Matt McIntyre, 52 for the lead, and he's got it. And he's going to try to bring Johnny Gardner with him in the, in the number 29 truck. Gardner for second place on Carson Gum. He's got Carson, and now let's see what, see what Johnny can do now with Matt McIntyre. Meantime, battle for fifth between Nathan Hudson and Joshua Osborne, the 16 and the 10 trucks. Hudson up the high side, Gar Osborne down low, and Osborne takes position away in the number 10 truck, moves him up to 5th position now, and Carson Gunn still cannot get back down on the low side now, he finally does, and goes underneath Cat Batson for position right now as they go through turns number 1 and 2 on board Joshua Osborne's truck. And up front you see right there, Gardner putting the pressure on Matt McIntyre for position right there for the lead. The 52 and the 29 trucks. Gardner down low. McIntyre up high. 11 laps to go. Off the fourth turn they come here. Gardner looks to the low side here. Keeps the pressure on. McIntyre, 10 laps to go at Bristol. <coughs> got a battle, you got, you got a battle between a driver who's not, who's, who's won this season, I guess the driver who's not yet won this season, that was Dart, that's Gardner. McIntyre, as we mentioned, took the victory out in California Speedway earlier this season. Three caution flags to slow the pace down to almost 85 miles per hour. Fast slap race so far being set by uh, the 21 and Cole Deaver at 128.425 miles per hour. Matt McIntyre has the second fast slap at 128.296. Gardner looks low. McIntyre says no. There's 69 in the books, six to go. We're going to lap number 70. Here comes Gardner to the low side for the lead. Side by side in turn number three. He's got it. Johnny Gardner to the front. Now 70 in the books, five to go. Here comes McIntyre, fights back, fights back on the outside. Crossover move, Matt McIntyre for, for the lead. Gardner off the wall, McIntyre back to the lead. Can Gardner come back? Four to go. Carson Gunn trying to get by Gardner for second play for the second position here. Let's we'll see if Gardner can knock any of that distance down here, but the laps are clicking off. We're down to we're gonna be down to two to go this time by. It's a complete it's a complete lap, lap number 73. Off the second turn to come, Matt McIntyre trying to keep it smooth, but Gardner is trying to close. To start off turn number four to come, the white flag will wave one lap remaining for Matt McIntyre. He survived a, a scare from, with, from Johnny Gardner coming on the, in the last a couple laps ago, but he's going to do it here today. Checkered flag, Matt McIntyre wins at Bristol.
what a fit race that what a what a race that was here those final four or five laps in this race here johnny garner i thought might have had it in the bag but matt mcintyre uh, knew what he was doing he got he got back behind garner put on the back and got back behind garner pulled up on the back bumper got gardner loose here got alongside of him through turn off turn through one and two Gardner bounced off the wall, and that was pretty much all she wrote right there. Dear John, I sent your saddle home. So, <laughs> average speed, 88.013 miles an hour, and Matt McIntyre gets his second picture of the, uh, gets his second picture of the season. Third will go to Carson Gum. Fourth to Joshua Osborne. Nathan Hudson, fifth. Cole Beaver, sixth. And Cat Batson, seventh. Keith Batson comes home, eighth. So, husband and wife finished right together with the wife winning this time. Uh, Rob, Evans ninth, Rob Evans ninth and tenth position will go to Seth Cole. Then Jacob Thibodeau, Matt Haas, uh, Kyle Matthews, Daniel Bouchard, Zachary Fitzwater, Phil Parker, James Sykes, William Brock, Stephen Cologne finishes, goes, moves up to the 19th position on the, fun, on the final, final finishing order. And Scott Upton comes home 20th. John Andrews 21st. And Jesse Turner, Roberto Crown Jr. <clears throat> Excuse me. Diego Yepes was 24th. And Bale Mosco, Brad Stover, Ashlyn Boyd, <clears throat> Pedro Lucas, Quentin Moore, and Nathan Ormond. The top 30. Ormond was the last truck to, truck to finish on the lead lap. Mitchell Collins and Laura Chung both finished one lap down. 31st and 32nd. Three trucks out of the race. That being the suspension problem from Paul Minnick. Uh, piston failure, but for all intents and purposes, an engine failure from Daniel from Dylan Young and Kev Shearer with a crash that sent him up and flipping through the third and fourth turns. Or thank goodness it's the video game and everybody's okay. So, anyway, that being said, here we here, congratulations again to Matt McIntyre, the winner here today at Bristol Motor Speedway. If you like what you, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe. To the NNSC area Sports and Gaming channel, we got everything in this channel. We got in our races, we got gaming videos, we got in our online videos. Whatever the president of the NSCRA, Seth Cole desires for his channel. Be sure desires to have for his channel. Be sure to check out Seth's Door Cell Cup Series, which is which is the which is the main which is the main series on his channel. And also be sure to check out our other two channels that does NSCRA offline series, including Dylan Young's channel X eight six seven five three zero nine eight five eight X, and also Thrash Maniac ninety nine, which, which is Dylan, which is Levi McIntyre's channel. He's the man that does the end of the CRA Marvel Studios Cup Series. So be sure to check those two channels out and give those two, channel, two channels a sub. As well as this channel you're watching right here as well too. As we, we all got some pretty cool stuff under the end of the CRA umbrella. So that will do it here today at Bristol. For now, this is James Bowles. This has been a production of the end of the CRA. Celebrating 10 years of offline racing at its best. We'll see you at Richmond.